piano shows you how something sounds. Musical possibilities are about sound. You've got to have a tool. It's a tool for musical creativity, it's a tool for study, and it is a tool for artistic expression. This is definitely the largest piano purchase in recent history for Princeton. I spearheaded the effort to purchase 48 new pianos for the new Lewis Arts Complex. We started in 2015. Uh, making trips to uh, the Steinway factory in Queens. I thought it was interesting how much of the process is entirely uh, handmade versus like put into machines. We uh, looked at the several parts of the manufacturing process of the pianos and uh, I think that the first we saw was uh, how they bend the frame, which was really interesting. They like stick a bunch of pieces of wood together with glue and actually it's surprising how they have to condition the wood for a very long time, for several months, and the whole process takes a year. Well today we're choosing a piano, a B, as it's called in Steinway terms, which is a seven-foot studio piano, and this piano is meant to go into a teaching studio. It's a very interesting process, so we actually tried out different pianos in multiple rooms because they have different resonance uh, in different rooms. And we were able to, uh, to pinpoint the one that we had selected in the other room, uh, despite the fact that they moved it around and it was essentially a blind testing. So you look at a piano, if you, if you lined up 10 Bs that we're talking about, 10 B Steinway pianos, from the outside they'll all look pretty much the same, but they all speak in different ways. So the qualities that we were looking for would be pianos that would have a wide range of expression. And we found, you know, quite a number of instruments over the past few months that we were very happy with. So this is our final selection today. It's physical, it's intellectual, and it's emotional all at once. And it's, it's all tied together and the way those things interact is endlessly fascinating. The immediate momentum for this complex began about 10 years ago with President Shirley Tillman. She called a bunch of us into her office in Nassau Hall uh, to talk about the arts at Princeton and she just blew us all away by saying that she, it was her intention to make sure that Princeton was as well known and respected for the arts as it was for anything else. The result is this amazing, mind-blowing, new facility. There are 20 new practice rooms. There are a total of six new teaching studios, a couple of which are dedicated to piano. What's wonderful about this new space is that there is more space. Um, I mean, we have a large community of musicians at Princeton, and um, sometimes it is a bit frustrating to walk into Woolworth, the old music building, and to find that all of the practice rooms are taken and you had intended to practice. Um, so the fact that there are many more practice rooms um, with shiny new pianos um, makes a big difference. It's one of the many pieces of evidence of the commitment that the university has made to the performing arts at Princeton that we bought a whole building full of Steinways. Now students with this building, with the practice rooms, with the teaching studios, with the pianos, with the rehearsal spaces, now we have for the first time, and the same for theater, the same for dance, we have a building which was from the get-go, it's a platform for musical performance that we've 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 never had that before and not only is it beautiful but I've been working in here now 10 days it it works the fact that the opportunity is there has given many groups and many individuals the chance to try something new with a new space um, so there is a ton of potential I can't say I know exactly how it's going to is going to shape out but um, it's very exciting I'm kind of sad that it's my last year. <laughs>